And, uh, and that is uh, Mr. Lidicut. Uh, Lidicut, rather, uh, Scott is uh, obviously trying very desperately to get enough points to get into the final heat. Some are driving for pride. Some are driving for a chance to get some points and finish in the money. And Scott's just had a lousy weekend and would love to get a victory just because a victory feels good about this time of the day. And they come down to the start finish line now, and it's going to be a perfectly legal start. In fact, they're just a touch to the late side at the line. Let's see how it happens. Yeah, maybe a little faster than I thought. That one looks pretty decent right now, but uh, it is now uh, the uh, Fox Plumbing with Greg Hot that leads them down into the corner. That's the yellow boat with the purple cowling as they get through that corner. Greg's got a good turn going there, Chip. Yeah, I'm sorry, Jeff Bernard's having a rough day. Remember, he was uh, in a boat that he's never been in before. He's way out of, he was late at the start. But uh, inside, you've got Greg Hopp. And remember, these guys are fighting to get into the final, which is great. But the bad news is they got to start behind the front line. And yeah, they get to be the trailer. Lidicote is right up there as well. So we got, and we got Peters and May up there. The Acura represents Peters and May uh, is also right in the neighborhood with uh, J.W. Myers out of the corner. Very nice turn by Greg Hopp. And he has the uh, the lead at the moment as they come down to end lap number one. But uh, Scott Lidicote is moving on him very strongly now from the outside, getting a good boat ride as well. And uh, let's see what happens here. It is the uh, Fox uh, coming across first. Lidicote in the degree men in the second. It is the Acura uh, presents uh, the Peterson May with J.W. Myers third and the red dot with Jeff Bernard trailing. Pat. Greg Hobbs got it flying, 141 on that first time That's around. That's a nice, nice speed. That's no really doubt. Quick. You know, right now, Greg Hopp is driving for a man named Fred Leland. Fred Leland is a much beloved person in the sport who we lost this year. This team has coalesced around the memory of Fred, and uh, nothing would make uh, Greg Hopp more happy or Fred more happy than to get this boat into the final at Zephyr. And Greg's uh, driving like a champion right now. Excellent corner again for him up on turn number two. He comes down to the start finish line still in the lead but Lidicote has not uh, left uh, any more ground than the last time around and he's still trying to pursue and he comes across the line second in the degree uh, men. The third place is the Acura uh, presents the uh, Peters and May in fourth place the 17 boat red dot and back through the corner again chip and it looks as though Lidicote is going to try to make one more punch at it here. You know, poor Scott Lidicote last year at this time he was the darling of the race. He just had everything going his way. He looked like he had a shot at winning, but boy, this has been a seafair nightmare for him this month, this weekend. He's keeping the hammer yeah, down. However, as he goes up into that corner, he's not going to give up. And through the turn once again, here comes Greg Hopp. Off the exit pin, Lidicote is closer to him now than he has been all along. The checkered flag is going to go up and see if Lidicote has enough speed to actually get into the final. This is going to be close. Lidicote has got the hammer down. It looks like he's going to win by a nose, and he does. Scott Lidicote to the degree men beats the Fox Plumbing and Greg Hopp at the very last moment. Third place across the line, the Peters and May. Well, the good news for Scott Lidicote is he's in the final. The bad news for Scott Lidico is he's in the final because right. he's going to be <laughs> behind everybody and it's horribly rough back there. It's like going over Niagara Falls in a 55 gallon drum with somebody beating on it with a lead pipe. It's it's really uncomfortable. But Mike, people have won from back That's right. There. The last time it happened, it was clear back in 1993 and that was the crew chief of the old boy, Alberto Mike Hansen, who was driving the Kellogg's Frosted Flakes that day in San Diego.